Welcome to Everybetters to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan and this is Buddy Sherman. We are so grateful you're here. So today I've prepared a 50 minute power vinyasa flow yoga class for you all about movement and message. In the flow, we move in and out of different variations of fallen triangle pose. The message is about as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up, push the bell for future notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get after the best version of you today. So we are going to begin if you follow me at Never Better Yoga on Spotify, we are going to go ahead and all together, we're going to press the start button for today's practice. Then come with me right down onto your mat. We're going to begin practice today in child's pose. So let your knees go nice and wide. Let your big toes track together. And then just begin to walk your upper body on out. If it serves you a little better today to stack your fists and have your forehead rest upon your fists, or maybe a block, or just continue to lengthen your arms out in front, hips are heading towards your heels. So the Sanskrit name for this posture is called Balasana, child's pose. It's a very grounding, calming, steadfast, stable posture to begin our practice with today. Now lift your hips and your forehead up. Walk your hands right off of your mat on the right side. Drop your right forearm. Let your left palm press on top of your right and draw a nice long line of energy on the left side of your body. Now lift back up, breathing in and out through your nose. Just take a nice slow stroll, walking your hands off your mat over to the left, dropping the left forearm, letting the right palm stack on top. So all the way from your right pinky finger to your right pinky toe, See if you can lengthen out the right side body. Now travel back to the center and drop your elbows down. Collect your hands together in that prayer style, that Anjali Mudra. And you might even inch your elbows a little bit further. Let your forehead lower and bring your thumbs to the nape of your neck. Now stretch your arms back out as you plant your palms down, lifting the arms up off of your mat, walk your hands back and rise right up onto your hands and knees. Find a little cat posture where you round your back and tuck your chin. And then a little cow where you arch the back, lengthen the neck, soften the space between your shoulder blades. Exhale, push the earth away. And then inhale, soften and melt. Keep that going a couple more times. Getting a nice spinal wave through the column of your body. 
Letting your breath move a nice smooth cadence and a nice smooth flow of that ujjayi pranayama breath of yours. Pushing your hands into the earth. If you look back when you move into cat, if you can see your shins or your ankles, see if you can't hide them behind your quad. So just beginning to round the back and arch the back, it's bringing waves and movement into the spinal column, letting your breath connect to these moves. So in today's practice, we are wrapping up this series that is titled As a Man Thinketh. It's a small little pocket book written in 1903 by James Allen. And we've been unveiling some of the truths in this book throughout several of the practices prior to now. So as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. One of James' most favorite quotes in the book by him is the fact that he believes a person is limited only by the thoughts that he chooses. Now hold up with a neutral spine, stretch your left leg right out to the side. Tuck your right toes under, drop your hips back towards your right heel, and walk your arms out nice and long. So from your tailbone to the tips of your fingers, find a nice extension. The inner thigh on the left is expanding. And then rise your right hip to stack over the knee and walk your hands out a little further and drop your heart. A little modified version of puppy dog. Now walk your hands back, right hand stays down, left arm reaches up and sneak dive it underneath the right arm. So you could tent the right finger pads and take that dive. Now come back around, walking your hands right up the right thigh, sweep your arms out and up, slip your right hand in your imaginary back pocket, left bicep by your cheekbone, arc up and back. Now both hands come into your imaginary pockets and bring the left knee to be equal with the right as you retract your shoulders Press your hands on your sacrum as you draw your elbows toward each other and just look up. Now nice and slow, bend at the waist, go hands and knees, shift your shoulders over your wrists, go chin, chest, belly, slither down onto your mat. Cobra, breathe in, opening the front body. Exhale, breathe out, tuck your toes under, Pop your hips up and back into that inverted V, downward facing dog. Now take a little time in this home base, pedaling through your feet, pressing your heels back behind your second and third toe. Maybe even taking the time to shift your body weight side to side any areas that might have some stickiness or energy that could be stuck. Just take the time to paddle it out, to iron it out, and breathe. You are flexible, you're pliable, balancing your strength and flexibility along with connecting that mind-body connection with your breath. 
moves you into quite a powerful transformative practice we are embarking upon today. As a man thinketh. So the one thing we have discovered is we have a little more control than we think we do about what we think about. Now in your down dog, walk your hands back towards your feet. So you're going to be at the back of your mat in a fold. Heel toe your feet all the way to the width of your mat. Soften your knees. Let one hand come on each bicep and hang your head in ragdoll. Now ignite a little shift in your ragdoll, just taking a soft knee side to side as you kind of weave. Letting the crown of your head be nice and heavy. Letting any tension in your face just kind of melt especially the space around your eyes and your forehead, no wrinkly forehead, no strain, no struggle. And then shake out any kind of angst, anything that it took for you to get here today. Just practice being here and now, and that's when we know how. Draw a yes back in knowing that you have arrived today. There's no coincidence that you unrolled your mat. There's no coincidence that you're here. There is no coincidence that you tuned in. Release your hands back down. Heel toe your feet back to the width of your hips. At the back of your mat, take a halfway lift. Exhale, physically pull yourself together on the fold and then rise up, Urdhva Hastasana, stretch your arms high to the sky, right hand, left wrist, side bend. Inhale, back up, find balance in each of the soles of your feet, left hand, right wrist, bend up and over to the left. Come back to the center. Release the hands so they can be laced behind your back. Let your index fingers slide down the backside. Retract your shoulders and look up. Soften the knees. Fold at the waist. Keep your hands laced as you fold over your legs. Release your hands and walk out to a high plank pose. From your high plank, push back, downward facing dog. From your down dog, pop your heels up, bend your knees and land right on down. Point your toes, shoulders over the rest. Chin, chest, belly, slither onto your mat prone. Retract your shoulders, rise up. Maybe up dog, palms of hands, tops of feet or maybe another cobra where your hips are grounded. Take your body back into down dog. Inhale the heels up, bend the knees and let them land. Slide the right leg out to the side. Tuck your left toes under. Drop your hips towards your heels and then walk your arms out in front of your body as you bow your head down. Breathing, getting a nice long line of energy in your spine. And then lift the back hip up off your left knee is rising. And your arms reach a little further forward and find Anatasana, a variation of heart melting pose. Love is known to enter the back side of our body. The love chakra is released out the front. Now walk your hands back right up the left thigh. Sweep your arms out and up on the inhale. And then go ahead and slide your right hand down the right thigh, left arm up and overhead for a side bend. Left hand slips into your imaginary back pocket. Knit your ribs in. Right bicep by cheekbone, arc up and back. 
Now keep your left hand in your pocket. Bring the right leg in as the right hand slips in your right pocket. Elbows draw together. Look up, stretch your neck. Sit back down, hips toward heels, hands slide out, hands and knees. Go chin, chest, belly, slither down, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, take your hips up and back, breathe out, down dog. Let your right leg lift, roll open at the hip, bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toe. Right inner knee, upper right or tricep. Inhale, stretch the right leg back, long, straight and strong. Right knee, left, upper tricep. Inhale, stretch the right leg up and back, roll open at the hip. Right knee in toward the nose, cross it over the left. Spin the left heel down, hips toward heels, left arm up. Bring it back around, swing the right leg up and back, roll open at the hip. Knee to nose, one time. Step it up, modified revolve lunge. Spin open to the right, twist. Right arm comes up and overhead. Right arm dives inside the right leg. Spin that left heel down. Take a peek up and under the left arm as you pull the right hip back. Do that again. Modified revolve lunge. Breathe in. Right arm up and over. Breathe out. Exhale. Sneak dive in. Left heel roots down. Right hip draws back. Sneak the gaze up and under the left arm as the left finger pads are tented. Come back around, modified revolve lunge. Right arm up and over. This time land the right finger pads inside the right leg. Spin that left heel down, left hand to left hip, and then elevate the left arm up. Now reach the left arm back and rise up into your second warrior. Turn your second warrior into stargazer. Heels in, toes out, gaze up. And then slip your hands on your thighs for horse stance. Now just go back and forth a little bit. Let the toes be nice and light. And then settle in the center. Take a little peek around the left side. Can you keep the sit bones low? Now reverse it. Peek around the right. Now stay low. Come back to the front. Frame the right leg. Draw the hips back for pyramid pose. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Back heel might be lifted. Front leg might be bent. You choose, you decide. Plant your hands, step back, down dog. Hug your inner thighs in, pull your navel into your spine, shift into high plank. Lower all the way down to your mat, point your toes, rise up dog or cobra. Hips go up and back, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. Left leg is on the left, roll open at the hip. Peel the right heel off of your mat. Exhale, inner knee, outer upper tricep on the left side. Inhale, stretch that left leg back, long, straight and strong. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Work through the waistband. Inhale, stretch it up and back. Roll open at the hip. Draw the left knee into the nose. Cross the left leg over the right. Spin down, drop your hips low. Even look up. Bring it back around. Swing the left leg up and back. Roll open at the hip. Knee to nose one time. Come right into modified 
revolve lunge. Left arm up, left knee tracks right over the second and third toe. Left arm up and overhead. Now sneak dive the left leg inside, left arm inside, back toward the right leg. As the right heel spins down, take the right elbow up as you tent the finger pads and dive underneath, twisting. Now come back, modified revolve lunge. Left arm up and over. Exhale, sneak dive in, right arm up as you take a peek under. Now, come back, modified revolve lunge. Left arm up and over and hold. Now, left hand comes inside. Spin the right heel down on the 45. Make sure your legs are on train tracks. Connect the left tricep to the left knee. Spin the right arm up, breathe in. Hold. Now, as you draw in and up, reach the right hand back and the left arm forward, bringing yourself right into the second warrior as you gaze over the left index finger. Turn it into stargazer, heels in, toes out, gaze up. Slip your hands right onto your thighs as you come in to horse stance taking a very gentle rock side to side. Now hold up here, spin around to the right, keep the sit bones low. Now spin over to the left. Now stay low and frame the left leg, coming back to that train track style Pyramid pose, inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold. So one of the first lessons that we learned in As a Man Thinketh is that your actions are outgrowths of your thoughts. Step into high plank. Take your hips up and back, down dog. From your down dog, pop your heels up, pull your navel in, protract your shoulders as you come into high plank asana. Exhale, lower all the way to the earth on your belly. Point your toes, either cobra, maybe up dog, and then exhale up and back. Down dog. Now in your down dog, lift the right leg up, roll open at the hip. Inner knee, upper tricep, tap it. Exhale, shoot the right leg up and back. Right knee, left tricep, tap it. Inhale, stretch it up and back, roll open at the hip. Cross the right leg over the left. So you got to pull the knee in toward the chest. Cross it over. Spin the left heel down. Hips lower down as they head toward your heels. And then rise back up. Unravel. This time maybe keep going to flip into wild thing. Right arm comes up and overhead. No wild thing. No worry. Stay in three-legged dog. Right arm left. Bring it around and kiss your right kneecap right up the center line. Step it forward, modified revolve lunge. Now this time, right arm reaches back and you come right up into twisted crescent. Right hand behind the left hamstring, left bicep by the cheekbone, arc up and back. Exhale, collect your hands, wring it out, and twist. So let the waistband find that rotation as your thumbs are in the center of your chest. No rush, no hurry. Keep lifting the seam of the left inner thigh. Come up and around, second warrior. Your actions are outgrowths of your thoughts. 
Stargazer, heels in, toes out, gaze up. This time, rainbow, right hand, left shin, left arm lifts. Now, stay low, come right to the top, shoot the right leg back, high plank. Lower down, inhale, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, hips up and back, breathe out down dog. Left leg is on the rise. On the inhale, open up at the hip. Flare the toes out. Exhale, inner knee, outer upper tricep, way up high. Inhale, stretch it back, long, straight and strong. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, stretch it up and back. Roll open at the hip. You know where we're going. Left knee draws in nice and slow, no rush. Head it by crossing over the right leg. Spin the right heel down, hips to heels, gaze up. Bring it up and around. Three-legged dog, stay or flip inside out for wild thing. Come across and you choose, you decide. Left arm lifts up. Bring it around and kiss your left kneecap. Draw it in. Step it up. Modified revolve lunge. Left arm lifts. Left arm reaches back as you draw your navel in, protecting your lower back. Right hand forward, left hand back. Breathe. Right hand behind the left hamstring. Arc up and back. Then hinge at the waist, collect your hands, get the right upper arm on the outside of the left front thigh for twisted crescent. Breathe. Now, up and around, second warrior. You shape the world just as much as it shapes you. Woo, turn it into stargazer, heels in, toes out, gaze up. Slip the left hand on the right shin, right arm lifts a little rainbow at the back of the house. Now stay low, front of the house, shoot the left leg back, high plank. Take your body up and back, down dog. From your down dog, peel your heels off your mat, pull your navel in, shift into high plank. Exhale, lower down. Point your toes, breathe in. Exhale, take your hips up and back, down dog. Now walk your hands back to your feet at the back of your mat. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, hinge, bend, and fold. Pull yourself together. Do that one more time. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hinge and fold. Now stay folded, heel toe your feet as far apart as you need to to get your peace fingers on your big toes. Physically pull them up on the inhalation, halfway lift. Exhale, sneak your elbows inside your shins for a little variation as you pull yourself together. Shake your head out. Keep clearing the pathway. It's a discipline that we must activate to get control of our mind. We can't always control some of the thoughts that come in, but what we can do is control how long they stay. So if something is nesting in your head that doesn't belong, let it spill right on out. We get to choose what we think about much more than we think we do. As a man thinketh, so is he. Shake your head back and forth. Begin to create that very clear picture. Some of the thoughts that we have can keep us energetic. They can keep us going. They can keep us strong. I was taking a walk with Patrick the other day, and he's like, Oh my gosh, he's really kind of got a hold of this. He's like, come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. So be strong. He's like, think strong thoughts. 
Draw those strong, balanced, stable, steady thoughts into your heart, mind, body, and soul. Release your big toes. Heel toe your feet all the way together at the back of your mat. Scoop your hips down. Arms rise up. Utkatasana chair pose. Take the tips of your fingers alongside your feet. Left hand, left hip. Take a hold of the right shin rising up. Maybe peace fingers on the right big toe. Extend the right leg out. Left arm lifts. Breathe. Now, from here, I want you to just switch. Take the left hand either to the shin, maybe to the foot, maybe to the other side of the right foot and right arm reaches back. Now turn this into eagle, you gotta go slow. Wrap the right arm under the right leg over. Eagle pose. Exhale your eagle into the nest, nice and slow. Keep your eagle arms, kick the right leg back, praying mantis with eagle arms. Unravel your arms, walk out, three-legged down dog, roll open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Inner knee, upper tricep, tap it. Exhale, shoot the right leg back, long, straight, and strong. Right knee, left tricep. This time, shoot the right leg out, fall in triangle, left arm up. And then overhead, breathe out. Left hand down. Now listen up. Right leg crosses right over. Spin the hip and heel down. Left arm lifts. Bring it back and around. Roll open at the hip. Stay or flip. Inside out. Wild thing. Right arm lifts. Bring it back around as you kiss that right kneecap up the center line. Step it forward. Modified revolved lunge. Rise up. Twisted crescent. Right hand behind the left. Exalted. Collect your hands. Hinge at the waist and twist. Up and around. Second warrior. Stable and solid. Stargazer, heels in, toes out, look up. Things are looking up. Open up to the new way of being, the new way of thinking. Right hand, left shin, left arm lifts. Stay low, plant the hands, shoot the right leg back. Maybe three-legged high plank, lower down chaturanga. Right leg joins the left, up and back, down dog. Breathe out. Walk your hands back to your feet at the back of your mat. This time, either take the same forward fold with peace fingers, or maybe you want to stand on your hands for a little gorilla posture, moving your toes on your wrists. Now inhale and lengthen, let the heart lift. Exhale, physically pull yourself together and fold. Do that one more time. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold, pull yourself back together. Shake your head out, keep clearing the thoughts. Keep clearing the static in the attic. Keep letting your mind be purified, be cleansed. Let it be moved with things that are not serving you by allowing them to be emptied right out of your head by choice. Choose to think on purpose. Heel toe your feet together at the back of your mat. Drop your hips, elevate your arms, Utkatasana chair. 
slip the tips of your fingers alongside your feet. Right hand, right hip, carry up the left shin. Maybe you want to take peace fingers around the left big toe. Utita hasta pada gustasana, right arm lifts, breathe. Breathe. Maybe you've got the left shin. Keep lifting out of the right hip. Steady your gaze. Now make that crossover. Maybe right hand to the outside of the left leg. Left arm reaches back. Breathe. Stable and steady. Left leg over. Left arm other under. Eagle pose. Steady, draw your eagle into the nest. Draw it in. Uh, keep the eagle arms. If you can, kick the left leg back. Praying mantis with eagle arms. Unravel your arms. Walk out, three-legged dog. Peel the right heel off, open up at the hip. Exhale, left inner knee, outer upper tricep. Inhale, stretch the left leg back. Long, straight, and strong. Left knee, right tricep, and hold. Shoot the left foot out, fall in triangle. Right arm comes up and overhead. Nice, long line of energy of the right side body. Soften your face and breathe. Not trying hard, trying easy. Right hand down. You know where you're going. Take the left leg across. Spin the right heel down. Drop your hips and elevate the right arm up. Spin it back around. Roll open at the hip. Stay or flip inside out. Always being mindful of what we say. As a man thinketh, because our thoughts turn into words. Bring it around. Kiss the left kneecap in. Step it up. Modified revolve lunge. Left arm reaches back. Navel draws in. Rise up. Feel that strength. Right hand behind the left. Arc up and back. Exalt it. Ring it out and twist. You've got this. Right upper arm on the outside of the left front thigh. Thumbs in the center of your heart. Breathe. Up and around, second warrior. You shape the world just as much as it shapes you. Breathe. Turn it into stargazer. Heels in, toes out. Gaze up. Now go ahead. Rainbow, back of the house. Right hand, left shin, right arm lifts. Stay low, come to the front of the house, shoot the left leg back, three-legged high plank, lower down, maybe three-legged to up dog, take your hips up and back, down dog, breathe out, hold up in your down dog, walk your feet in about six inches, and we're going to twist our down dog. Letting the right arm sneak under to the left leg. Now, maybe you get towards your heel. Maybe it's the calf. Maybe it's the thigh. It matters not. But you're going to be balancing on your left hand and left foot. Can you elevate the sole of the right foot up and maybe lift it up and back? Now, release it down, peel open at the hip, right leg is lifted. Inner knee, upper tricep, tap it. Inhale, lengthen it up and back, roll open at the hip. Now, right knee, left, upper tricep, swing it on back this time, roll open at the hip. Do it again, right knee, left, tricep, maybe a push-up. Inhale, stretch it up and back, roll open at the hip. Now hold right here in your mind's eye. Ekapada Kundanyasana 2. If you want to give it a whirl, there is a leap of faith required. 
So your right knee is going to hop on the left tricep. So right knee, left tricep, hop on board. Let the left leg lift. Breathe. Bring it up and back. Now cross that right leg over. Drop the hips. Left arm lifts. Bring it up and around. Take your time. Roll open. Stay or flip. Inside out. Wild thing. Right arm up. This time, right foot steps outside the right pinky finger. Dip the left knee down. Left hand stays down. Left knee is down. Right arm sweeps back, maybe catching a bent left leg as you open up your heart. Now release that connection. Dig the right heel in. Draw up and back for a little modified runner stretch. Now carry the right hand over and the right leg in. So you're in runner stretch, Ardha Hanumanasana, half of a split. Now if you're a full Hanumaner, go ahead and slide right in. But keep your hips squared up and your inner thighs drawing in. Maybe you use a block. But maybe use the option of walking down over the right leg. Now, when you rise up, I want you to bring your back bent leg in for Janu Shirshasana. Arms rise up, breathe in. Pivot toward the right leg, flex the foot, press the thigh bone down. Fold over the right leg. Now maybe you want to slip the right forearm down, left arm up and overhead. Breathe. Now go ahead and plant that left hand right by the left hip. Rise up, right arm up and overhead. Stretch out the right side body. Maybe even take the right hand behind the tips of your ears as you press your hips forward. Now come back around. Go ahead and find high boat. A simple thought oftentimes turns into a major decision. Lower down to hover. Now let your palms come down, head come down. Legs go up. Take your hands with your index fingers and your thumbs together to make a little leaf to kind of make that space as you lift your hips up. That leaf shape go right around your sacrum. Now lower the right leg to hover. Now bring it back up. Lower the left leg to hover. Bring it back up. Lower both legs a third. Inhale. Exhale, lower them another third. Inhale. Exhale, hover your legs over your mat. Point your toes. Draw your knees in. Lift your legs up. Flex your feet. Lower them down. Draw the knees in. Lengthen the legs up, flex the feet, lower them down. Exhale, draw in, lift up, lower down. Exhale, draw in, inhale, lift up, lower down. Last time, exhale, draw in, inhale, reach up, lower down. Hold in the hover, scissor the legs in the hover, right over left. Now scissor them up and down, scissor them up and down. Now move them up and down, scissoring toward the sky. Now front and back, front and back, side to side, point the toes. Now flex the feet, little Charlie Chaplin, flex the feet, scissor in and out, and hang on to the backs of your hamstrings, maybe the front of your shins. 
you choose, you decide. And all the way up, stepper floated back. Take it through, vinyasa. Exhale, take it up and back. Down dog. Let your left leg lift. We'll finish off. Actually come back. Walk that dog in just a little bit. We're going to twist in the opposite direction. Left arm dives under. We wouldn't want to be crooked toward the right leg. Now, because you're going to be balancing on the right hand and the right foot, it's not an easy feat to get it. Now, can you pull in the femur bone on the left hip socket and then lev levitate the left leg up? Breathe. Release the left hand down. Now you're in three-legged down dog. Roll open at the hip. Inner knee, upper tricep. Shoot it back long, straight and strong. Left knee, right tricep. Work the oblique. Inhale, stretch it up and back. Roll open at the hip. Exhale, push up left knee, right tricep. Inhale, stretch it up and back. Roll open at the hip. Maybe into the arm balance this time. See it in your mind's eye. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Twist and maybe lift up. Breathe. Shoot back. Left leg over the right. Drop the hips. Look up. Things are looking up. Right hand down. Spin up and around. Wild thing. Maybe you open up inside out. Left arm lifts. Bring it around. This time you're going to step the left foot outside your left pinky finger. Dip the right knee down. Right hand down. Left arm sweeps back. Maybe to a bent right leg. And then open up. Release. Drop and back. Dig the left heel in. Flare your toes out for a little modified runner stretch. So you're getting a nice stretch on the left hamstring, but then you're going to sneak the left leg inside the left hand. So you're framing the left foot this time. Half of a split. Either stay or maybe you want to work into full Hanuman. Keeping your hips as square as you can. Maybe you want to walk down over the front leg. On the way up, you're going to roll over toward the left hip, bending the right leg, sole of right foot to left inner thigh. Arms lift, flex the left foot, flare the toes out. Exhale, hinge at the waist, Janu Shirshasana as you fold over the left leg. Slip the left forearm inside the left leg. Elevate the right arm up and overhead for a nice long right side body. Reach the right arm up, let it be planted right by your right sit bone. Rise up on the right shin and knee. Work the outer edge of the left foot and open up. Now slip the left hand behind your head. Soften your face, let your hips draw forward as you arch your back. Breathe. Now slow you go, come back around. Lengthen both legs out in front. Reach your arms forward as you fold over your legs and inch your sit bones back. Now walk your hands up and take yourself with bent legs and feet planted onto your back. 
So as a man thinketh, in his heart, so is he. So take a hold of the outside edges of your feet. And just take a little shift in your happy baby side to side. Just with that knowingness that what you think about comes about. We have so much more control than we think we have. We just have to learn those tools of changing the channel when things are entering our mind and they're going down a trail, a DVD surround sound movie trail of a picture that is not wanted. Now go ahead from your happy baby, slide your legs out and move yourself right into our final resting pose, Shavasana. So just let your feet splay out let your palms face skyward. You might retract your shoulders in a touch. And then give yourself permission to rest. Just in the knowingness that you are enough you do enough, you have enough. Santosha, contentment, bask in it. Now you could stay right here 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. I invite you to do so. Just turn the video off. If you're coming with me, we're going to start to bring movement back to our fingers and our toes. Just letting our hands circle right around our wrists, letting our feet travel around our ankles. And then as you bend your knees, transition over onto your right side, passing through that fetal position as you push yourself back up into your day. Coming to a comfortable, sweet seat. Sweep your arms out and up as a man thinketh, so is he in his heart. Gather your purpose right into your heart today. Seal it. Let it bring peace. Let it bring joy. Let it bring happiness to you and to those around you. Let's finish off all together with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Om. Go on out and be a blessing. Namaste.